What's up fam? This is your boy El Jefe and I just got back from CES 2020 in Las Vegas. That's why my voice sounds a little bit funky right now. Um, we we're in loud environments and we were constantly having to yell and scream plus all the dry air messed me all up and got my allergies all messed up. But that aside, that's why my voice sounds all messed up right now. But I wanted to go ahead and give you a recap of all of the cool and upcoming True Wireless earbuds that I saw over at CES. Now, some of this stuff is available for purchase now, some of it is available for pre-orders, and some of it won't be coming out for a few more months. So let's go ahead and jump into them. We've got a few that I wanna cover, and this way you'll have a better idea of what the True Wireless earbud market's gonna be looking like over the next few months. So sit back and relax, let's jump into it. So first and foremost, let's talk about the One More True Wireless ANC. These, I just did a initial impressions video on these that I released just a few days ago. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. So that is easily one of my top favorite products that was released at CES 2020. Now these are available for pre-order right now. They run $199.99. I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below if you wanna jump on that. Now these earbuds are dual driver. They're also running active noise cancellation two levels plus pass-through audio. They also feature USB type C for charging and wireless charging is available on deck. So as far as features go, they are absolutely feature packed. They are bringing a lot to the table and they have definitely raised the bar for one more products. Now, not only do they have these true wireless, but they also have a neck band version available for those of you who are fans of the neck band earbuds. Now I know there's a lot of people out there who think that neck band earbuds are out of style or just like older tech, but they're really not. They're easily the most underrated of the Bluetooth earbuds on the market. They're incredibly convenient, especially for somebody who just wants to throw the neck band around their neck in the morning, have the earbuds there, and then when they want to use them, they can just pop them in. When they're done, they can just pop them out and let them drop. You don't have to worry about having a case or anything like that. Plus, they also feature great sound quality and far better battery life than you'll ever get out of these true wireless earbuds. So they still have a nice, strong place in the market for anybody who's looking for something a little more convenient than true wireless earbuds. Now, moving on to the next one, let's talk about TCL. So now TCL is known for making, you know, TVs and sound bars and a lot of different stuff in the American market. So they're also jumping in to the audio market. So last year they actually came out with some wireless headphones and some uh, Bluetooth earbuds as well. Now they're into the market with true wireless earbuds. So the first ones they've got, they call them the Social 500 TWS. SOCL, you can get these in four different colors. They offer them in black, blue, orange, and purple. I actually managed to grab a sample at the TCL press event. I've got them in black. So expect a full review of these coming up very, very soon. Now the price tag on these is gonna run you right around 80 bucks. And they do have some pretty decent features for that price. You get USB type C. They also give you an IPX4 rating. They give you around six and a half hours worth of playback time. Uh, an additional 26 hours when you include the case. They also have a 15 minute fast recharge so you've got some pretty decent specs right on top as far as size wise uh, the earbuds themselves are about the size of what you get with the galaxy buds so they're pretty discreet when you actually wear them and i like the fact that they come with four different uh colors so you can really choose one that better suits your style now if you wanted to step it up a notch with the tcl earbuds you can actually jump up to their active 500 TWS. Now those have all of the above features except for the IP rating which they've upgraded to an IPX7. They also feature wireless charging and they do include comply foam ear tips. So if you want to have that memory foam on deck they actually include them right inside the box. Now these ones have a slightly different color scheme. You can either get them in a white and orange or a black and orange. Your choice. So you do have those options. So those are the two new true wireless earbuds coming from TCL. As far as I know, I believe they are available for order on Amazon. So I'll leave links to those in the description box down below. I'm not sure how fast they will be shipping, but they are available on Amazon at the making of this video. Now, moving on to the next one, let's talk about the Audio-Technica ATH ANC 300 TW. Man, Audio-Technica and those names, man, I'm telling you. So these guys are gonna run right around 230 bucks. They're gonna feature active noise cancellation and pass-through audio. Unfortunately, they're only gonna have an IPX2 water resistance rating, so I definitely wouldn't take these swimming or you know get caught out in the rain or even you know get into water balloon fight. You may wanna be careful around these. But that being said, you're still 
still going to get right around four and a half hours worth of playback time with an additional 13 hours in the case. Now, if you know Audio Technica, they're always bringing that heat when it comes to sound quality, and that's where these are really going to shine. I look forward to going ahead and trying these out. These won't be available in the market till probably somewhere around April or May, as far as what I was told at the CES booth for Audio Technica. So this is something that we definitely want to look forward to. It's always nice when we see Audio Technica entering the market and bringing out some newer stuff. I know the price is a little bit higher, but considering the fact that this is where the competition is for active noise canceling earbuds, 200, you know, you've got 230 for the Sony's and you've got 250 for the AirPods Pro. So that's right about where this market is playing at the moment. Now, on the topic of active noise cancellation, that takes me over to the Edifier booth where I had the opportunity to try the Edifier TWS NB and those are Edifier's noise canceling true wireless earbuds. Now, these are running a little bit lower on the price range at $120, which, you know, pretty much kind of makes them a steal when it comes to these feature sets. So you've got active noise canceling and they've also got what they call their ambient mode, which is basically pass through audio. So you've got ANC and pass through on deck. You get five hours of playback with active noise cancellation with an additional 10 hours in the case. Now, supposedly with noise canceling off, you can get up to 11 hours worth of playback time. That's something that I look forward to testing once I get my hands on a review sample. So look forward to a full review of those coming soon. They also feature an IPX4 rating, so you do have some basic water and sweat resistance. And of course, because they are, you know, Edifier, they have incredible sound quality and they do pack APTX for better connectivity and better sound quality. Now, the next one that I actually was able to test at this booth was also the Edifier TWS6. So the TWS6 is a little bit different than what you got with the other True Wireless earbuds from Edifier. These are featuring balanced armatures only, so no dynamic drivers. So these are gonna give you that much more smoother mid-range, a nice bright treble with excellent detail. Now, the reason that they went this route with these earbuds is because they were actually trying to make the package smaller. So not only the case, but the earbuds themselves, so that people who have smaller ears will have the opportunity to try out some of these earbuds as well. Now, they are very, very tiny in size. I was very impressed with how small they managed to make these while still giving you some incredible features. Price-wise, they're gonna still come in about 120. You're gonna get a full IPX5 rating, so that's a much more improved water and sweat resistance. They do have double balanced armatures for that incredible sound quality that I was referring to. They still feature USB type C and wireless charging on deck. With these, you actually get eight hours worth of playback time with an additional 24 hours in the case. And like I said before, these are a minimal size earbuds. So if you want something a little more discreet, or if you have small ears where you just can't have full size true wireless earbuds, then these might be the right choice for you. As far as I know, these have already been released, but you know, if you want to take a look for them, I'll be sure to leave links just like to all the rest of these in the description box down below. Now, next up, I moved over to the EarFun booth of CES. Now, if you guys remember, I've done a review of the EarFun Free, and those were some excellent True Wireless earbuds that came in for just about 50 bucks. As far as my top five list, they came in in the number three spot. EarFund, they actually went ahead and listened to the feedback that they got from reviewers like myself, from GameSki, from Just Doing Life, from a lot of us who had little nitpicky things to say about them, and they went ahead and made some improvements. Namely, they kept everything that was already good about them, but they also included volume control. So now you've got volume control on deck, and they also added dual mono mode to the earbuds, so you can use them independently. So now volume control and dual mono mode, but get this they actually kept them at the same price. So they're still gonna be 50 bucks for the upgraded version. So as far as what they were telling me at the booth, they were gonna be rolling these out to Amazon shortly. I don't know if it was gonna be within the next uh, few weeks to the next 30 days. So over about the next month or so, the new upgraded earphone free will be on Amazon. So if you are kind of looking for these, you were kind of thinking about buying these, you may wanna hold on just a little longer wait for that new upgraded version to come out and that way you can get the latest updated model. Now, while we're talking about EarFun, they also have a new True Wireless earbud coming out. Now, this one's gonna run 10 bucks more. It's gonna be $60 and it's gonna be called the EarFun Air. Now, the EarFun Air is gonna be more of that AirPod style of earbud, you know, where you've got the stem that comes out. These are gonna be featuring four microphones to give you improved call quality uh, over the EarFun Free. 
Not only that, they're also going to have a full IPX7 rating, same as the earphone free. You're also going to get dual mono mode, six hours worth of playback time with an additional 30 hours in the case. And just like before, you're still going to get USB type C and you're still going to get wireless charging. Now these won't be available till I would say somewhere between March and April. So just go ahead and be patient. If you're into these, you can go ahead and check these out. I'll leave a link in the description box. So you can check out earphones page. So you can take a look at these for yourself, but so far, they look pretty good for the money, but you let me know what you think in the comment section. Now they also have a new set of headphones coming out with active noise cancellation. Now I'm not exactly sure when these are gonna be coming out. I believe it's gonna be either April or May. I don't have any specs on the price. My guess would be somewhere around a hundred bucks, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Now I didn't get a chance to listen to these. I did get a little bit of B-roll shot because I did see them there, but looks like the product wasn't quite ready for market just yet. So just keep an eye out. Everybody heard about the earphone wave at 50 bucks. They were some of the best headphones that you can get for that price. So I'm looking forward to seeing what earphone can do with some active noise cancellation. So fingers crossed that they bring out a good product that can compete with the big boys under 100 bucks. Now that takes us over to Tautronics. So I was able to visit Tautronics suite at CES 2020, and they had some exciting products there from a few of the different brands that they have under their umbrella. But what I'm here to talk to you about is the Tautronics specifically. So they do have some new true wireless earbuds that are coming to the market. Now, the ones that I'm talking about have a bit of a strange name. They are the TT zero BHF 003. Uh, Tautronics has to do something about these names, man. Call them like the, the Sound Surge 03 or something. Just simplify this name, please, for me. Yeah, so these are gonna be their version of an active noise canceling true wireless earbud. Now, I don't have details on the price. As far as I can tell, I think it's gonna be somewhere around 50 to 100 bucks, so right around there, but it's still gonna be pretty budget as far as active noise canceling true wireless earbuds are concerned. Now these, I did have a chance to try myself. I got a chance to try an engineering sample that was there in their suite and they sounded really, really good. I was highly impressed. So that's something to look forward to. Hopefully the price is right on those when it does come out. So look forward to that. They do come in two colors. You can get them in black or white. So you do have those options. As far as battery life, it's gonna be five hours worth of playback time, an additional 20 hours with the case. So they are featuring touch controls and I believe it's gonna be a few months before we see these while they're still getting everything sorted out, but that's something to look forward to from Tautronics as far as true wireless earbuds go. Now, next up, let's move to one of my favorite companies, and that's Soundcore, the makers of the Liberty 2 Pro and the second wave of the Liberty series, which has been absolutely crushing the market at a bunch of different price points. So first up, let's talk about the new version of the Liberty 2 Pro. They're coming out with a white version. As far as I can tell, there's nothing mechanically or physically different about them, the sound and everything else is going to be the same it's just a cosmetic change so you can have now the standard like ash gray color the one that they come in normally or you're also going to have a white version so you're going to have two options as far as liberty 2 pros go from what they tell me these won't be out for about another two months but it is something to look forward to if you were you know in the mindset of picking up a set of white ones either for yourself or as a gift now next up the other one that i was able to see and that i was very excited about was the spirit dot two now obviously these aren't going to be out for a couple of months as well but it was something really nice to see they had a really satisfying case similar to the liberty 2 pro they had that case where the top like slides open and closed really satisfying as far as the physical size of these they're very similar to the Galaxy Buds. So they're very discreet when you put them in, they sit very flush with your ears, they don't stick out a lot. So that's a really nice feature. Now these have some serious bass to them and they have that bass up feature that uh, Soundcore is known for. So they can really bring that thump when you need it. These are gonna have five hours worth of playback time, an additional 18 hours in the case. They're gonna be fully waterproof. So they even had them sitting in a, in a tank with water, like a small little tank with water showing them inside. So yeah, they're gonna be fully waterproof waterproof as well, which is really nice. This is going to be a great set of workout earbuds. They're going to come in two different colors. You can get them in black. They're also going to be available in this um, black and green case. Now, I don't know if the earbuds themselves are going to end up changing color or if it's just going to be the case color that's going to be different. I'm sure all these details are going to get worked out soon, but still, this is a great option that's going to be coming down the road 
in a couple of months. Now, I also did see the Spirit X2. Those look pretty legit. Those are obviously some Power Beats Pro contenders. Unfortunately, I don't have my hands on those in order to test them, but hopefully I'll be able to get a sample of those soon. Now, there are a lot of other True Wireless earbuds that were at CES that I didn't have a chance to look at. I know Klipsch has got some new options coming out. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find out anything about them or really get much information from them at the booth. They were extremely busy. I don't know what was going on, but things happen. So Klipsch is another one to look out for. I know Techniques also has some new ones coming out. Uh, Techniques, the makers of the turntables are gonna have active noise canceling and regular True Wireless earbuds coming out. I'm sure the price is gonna be a little bit high, but it's also another one that you may wanna look out for. So with all that said, that's gonna be my quick recap of the True Wireless earbuds that are coming out from CES 2020. Obviously the market is huge, there are so many out there that I couldn't get to or couldn't cover, but these are just the ones that really caught my eye, caught my attention, and I wanted you to know about them. Hopefully, I'll have a chance to get all of these over here so that I can review them myself and bring you my opinions and my thoughts and fully test them out for you. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. There's always one or two of you out there. I don't want you feeling left out. And if you haven't done so already, consider joining the fam. Hit that subscribe button along with that small notification bell. This way you never miss any of my weekly videos. So with all that said, I hope I brought you some good value today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you in the next video.